We're here today really to find out how other people use the Panasonic products, especially the tough pad. Um, and EasyJet's just recently implemented that on its aircraft. Um, we've had tremendous support from Panasonic in doing that. Um, and we wanted to come here really and share our story and the pitfalls and the experiences. Um, and we've just gone live on 222 aircraft with Panasonic tough pads um, in about a 12 month period. Thanks largely due to Panasonic support. So um, here to find out what's going on. Met Patrick Dixon today, the futurologist, very engaging, very interesting, um, a completely different way of looking at the world. Um, it rings a lot of bells with the sort of stuff we're doing in EasyJet, on the customer the focus and the strategy on the front and the marketing and engaging on mobile platforms. Um, so it's nice to know we're on the right lines. Whilst they're true, we try and put in the architecture for the aircraft to have the same sort of technology. Um, what's going on in the industry. So one of the benefits here is we get to see how the railways use the same sort of technology and obviously there's a lot of crossover in functionality. Um, of interest is we've met the Panasonic Aviation um, team here who do um, onboard aircraft connectivity. There's some good discussions with them. We've met, uh, we've obviously seen the other Panasonic products that you do with respect to cameras and technology, some of which may be applicable. Um, but it, it, it's really beneficial to see the bigger picture. So, you know, we're putting in a connected operation strategy of which this is the first element. We've got a second element approved and I'm working through that, but we'll come right full circle um, and we'll be using more sort of Panasonic products and services. Um, but it's, it's very high energy, very lively, um, and everyone's brutally honest and showing their experiences, which is good.